Do you think Mexico is all about uh, cactus and tequila and sombreros? Uh, and not really, we have so much stuff to offer. Look at all of these umbrellas. Okay guys, let's go to thank you, it's getting late. That you are here with me watching this video. My name is Daira Tenorio, and I want to open my life as a book. I want to show you everything what I'm uh, doing every day. This is gonna be a vlog, and you're gonna learn so much stuff about Mexico. You're gonna learn like little things that maybe you didn't know because you think Mexico is all about uh, cactus and tequila and sombreros, uh, and not really. We have so much stuff to offer. But also, I want to show you uh, my daily life and, and also this process that I'm going through uh, with my fiancé. I just get engaged and I'm so happy about that. And, and that's why I want to show you like my waiting time because we just applied for a visa, uh, the fiancé visa, the K-1 visa. So if you are going through this, I'm with you, uh, whoever you are, it's so difficult to be waiting because you know you want to be with that person that you love but he is there so far away and I'm like oh my god like I just want to be with him but that's why I'm starting this vlog to encourage you guys to and even if you're not going through a process like this I know that there's times in your life where you have to wait it can be so difficult to be just waiting because you just want to get there but I think this is just a journey that we have to go through together you know like uh, my fiance and I, we are with you in this, in whatever you're waiting for. Just imagine how we're feeling that we are just like we are just so impatient to see each other again and and to get married and live together, you know. But we want to do it right. We want to do it perfectly done, so we don't have any 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 issues after. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited that you can come with us and and you can see all of my life and his life and our life together but I mean like I'm waiting here you're gonna see everything that Mexico has to offer and after you're gonna see when I go uh, and live in like in United States and how is my life after as being a Mexican and living in Mexico now going to United States and live there so I'm really excited for this process so if you have if you apply for a K-1 visa uh the best of luck and um, and yeah let's just get like let's just be patient and and happy with what we have right now okay so uh, let's go and see what i'm doing in this day today This is a little town really near to my house and um, my mom is coming with me and we took the jeep because you need to see this road <laughs> so this is like the country here in Mexico so here is the road as you can see it's so difficult to drive here but with the jeep I mean everything is possible I love my jeep it's so cool but yeah, look at this road. I always feel like I'm in like some kind of jungle, maybe in Africa or something. I feel like I'm in the safari. But yeah, this is an adventure every day. It's an adventure here. Here you can see the, the corn. So it's really nice to see how, the, how everything starts growing. You can see the mountains. This is a gas station in Mexico. I know you guys are suffering. It's so expensive right now in the United States. Well, I'm sorry for you guys. Here it's so expensive, but not as much as you. So here, look. Look at this guy. This guy is going to help us. So, he asks you how much do you want. So, there he goes. He put it in. He always tells you, is it in zeros? Is it in zeros? So then you have to say yes. It's really common here in Mexico. It's normal. It's normal to have people there just helping. And then if you want, you can tip him. 
you can tip him with something because look he always does like all the service for you ¿Cómo te llamas? Jose so his name is Jose Okay guys let's go to thank you it's getting late There's a lot of arts there. Ah, look, you can see the cathedral. We're gonna go and check it out a little bit more. And we have to hurry because I need to go to the restaurant and take the pictures. Every uh, Pueblo Magico from here in Mexico, there's like signs where you can take pictures in. For example, this one has techies. And it's really nice. Everyone has to take a picture here. It's really nice for your Instagram, for you know your social media, blah blah. blah. So yeah, every, every time there's a big line here uh, of people who wants to take pictures here. And I mean, like, look at the cathedral. It looks beautiful. It's really beautiful, it's called Magico Tequins. And look at all of these umbrellas, they're beautiful. We have there the restaurant. Now we're here guys, we have to take some pictures. So it's picture time. I mean like who doesn't like to to take pictures of food? It's so delicious. If you come to Tequis, you should come to this place. It's called Magico Tequis, it's beautiful. And yeah, I mean like look at this. We're here with Carlos and he's preparing some delicious chi uh, what is it? Chilaquiles. It's so yum. Look at it. Que rico! We finished taking the pictures and now I think we need some relaxing time. And I'm gonna go to this cafe that I really like and we're gonna have some like I think I'm feeling like a latte um, so yeah we're gonna have a delicious latte watching this video I'm so excited that you are with me in this process and and I know that we're gonna go through this okay let's do this every day is a new day every day is a challenge every day there's new stuff to learn so I'm happy that you're with me today so I'll see you in the next video thank you so much adios